At this late stage in the election, Donald Trump has a new searing line of attack, a point he underscored from the front seat of a garbage truck. For Joe Biden to make that statement, it's really a disgrace. Joe Biden should be ashamed of himself if he knows what he's even doing. A fresh rallying cry in response to what President Joe Biden said during a virtual campaign event for Latino voters. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. His, his, his demonization of Latinos is unconscionable. Biden's team says he was criticizing the rhetoric of one supporter, the comedian who called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage at Trump's weekend rally. Just to clarify, he was not calling Trump supporters garbage. But what Trump voters heard was contempt. We're not garbage, we're not trash, we are the American people. This is an unwelcome reminder for Democrats of 2016. You could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. That statement enraged and mobilized Trump's base. Right? This time around, Trump is hoping the incident will have the same impact. My response to Joe and Kamala is very simple. You can't lead America if you don't love Americans. That's true. For Kamala Harris, Biden's comments are a distraction. The day after her biggest campaign rally, the thing she was asked most about by reporters garbage. I strongly disagree with any criticism of people based on who they vote for. This debacle highlights the double standard in this election. Harris is running a traditional campaign held to the standard of a traditional politician. Trump routinely hurls personal insults, uses dehumanizing language, and spreads lies about election fraud. It doesn't stick to him as it would a traditional candidate. As for Harris, she's distancing herself from Biden, and that will continue as long as he's seen as a liability. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.